Dragon here, bringing you another Clash Royale video. In today's video, guys, I just want to quickly go over how I um, how I got the battle ram here. Um, hold on a sec. Um, <clears throat> so it's the battle ram challenges on this weekend, guys. And you see here, I was able to actually get it. So I wanted to go ahead and show the deck that I used because I felt like I'm not the best, but the best of this game. I'm pretty new to it still. So if I'm able to get the battle ram, uh, I'm sure you guys are going to be able to um, using this deck. Um, I felt like it was pretty overpowered, so we'll just get into a couple matches here that I was able to win and uh, just let it play and uh, just kind of go over a few things. So, <clears throat> so I've got um, I've got the log, the balloon, the electro wizard, uh, Skarmy, executioner, giant, and uh, what else do we have? Executioner, giant, and something else. But uh, basically, like more or less, my thoughts on using it. Uh, you see, right right here, I actually had a lot of trouble with the with the guy's furnace, but. But basically, it's like, I'm either going one way with the Balloon Rage, or I'm going the other way with the Giant Executioner. And you see when you actually get the Giant and the Executioner in, like, a reasonably good position under Rage, it's like, done, like, game over, like, I win. Like, it, it's, it's ridiculous. He's so, the Executioner is so strong. You see right there, we got the Battle Ram in, and, um, the Log was able to take out that Princess. But, like, look at the damage this guy does. Like, the only thing that's able to take him out, I've found, is when he's already locked onto the tower, and then you send something in, like, behind him or beside him. Um, there was a couple times in the later games where, um, where I had the Executioner in, like, a good position and, like, under Rage and stuff. But, um, <clears throat> but the guy would send the Miner in behind him after he had already locked onto the tower, so that was really amazing to see. Um, Kind of getting wrecked here with the graveyard. Uh, I tried to defend it with the giant, but he was just having no part in that and just took right off. So, <clears throat> um, so yeah, the Electro Wizard. Uh, obviously, I got the Battle Ram in it. I uh, should have mentioned that. Um, Electro Wizard, Battle Ram, Balloon, Rage, Giant, and Skarmy. I think that's. I don't know. Whatever. You you know what I'm using. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, after this challenge, I'm just like I I want the Electro Wizard so bad. Like he's so good in so many situations. Like the Electro Wizard and the Executioner together are just like. It, it, it just seems unstoppable to me like especially in like frozen peak in the arenas that i'm in right now like they they would just dominate like i i i don't think i've seen i've seen maybe one executioner deck and i still i see electro wizard all the time but um like look at the damage we get here look at the damage these throws out the crying face like it's just nuts it's just nuts the executioner um so yeah, like I said, um, more or less the plan is here, like Giant um, Executioner one side and then Balloon Rage the other side or something like that. And then whatever he doesn't defend well, uh, I throw the Rage down on. And it, it works super well. Obviously the Electro Wizard is great to have in there too. He's a great uh, defensive card. He more or less stops the uh, stops the Battle Ram completely because he takes out the charge from it. And then uh, he can almost just shut down the barbs with his stun ability. Um... <clears throat> People are talking that the saying that the executioner has a stun ability. I don't know if I noticed that yet, but uh, you see right here, uh, he just wrecks that tower, and then we've got the giant to distract on the left side. So right now, all I have to do is play some defense, and that's gonna be pretty easy with the electro whiz and the skarmy and everything. I'm not sure if this guy actually gets this tower or not, but uh, uh, I guess not. He's throwing out the uh, he's throwing out the arrows there. So uh, this ended up being the first win. This was the first win, guys. And once you get five wins, then you're you're good to go. You get the battle ram, um, and then once you get twelve, you can get fifty battle rams, I think, which gets it up to, like tournament term, tournament standard or something like that. So I'll show a couple more replays here. Um, we'll show my last one, I guess. We'll just go ahead and show the last one. So <clears throat> uh, where are we at here? Where are we at? Back, back, back. Um, so I, I lost, of course I lost the very last one because I didn't get 12 wins or anything. Um, so you see right here, Battle Ram, uh, we'll go over the stats on it. Hit points, this is at level level 7, so this is the turn, tournament standard I guess. Uh, Barbarian level 9, deployment time 1 second, speed medium. Uh, you know that he charges and he goes around stuff, so it's, it's not like the Prince where... Um, it's, it's, it's not like the prince where the battle ram's charging at you and you can put down a giant or something and then it blocks it like he actually just like scoots right around it so I don't know it's kind of cool I found the battle ram like uh, pretty useless honestly like I didn't really see any good times to use it unless the guy was completely over committed to one side and I had like all the time in the world to charge it up on the uh, on the right and even then it's like one zap I think takes the uh, takes the charge away which is like the only good thing about it you see here once it goes down it's, it's just two normal barbarians and they got stopped there pretty easily. So you see, I'm going here, uh, executioner, electro whiz, and uh, a lot of my, a lot of my, um, 
a lot of my matches were kind of like this. I just went like super aggressively. Like I would just give up my entire tower and then just plow through one side. You see, um, I'm kind of doing that here. I've almost got this tower down. Yeah, he's almost, he's almost got mine down too, but um, I did find it worked really, really well was to just play extremely aggressive and just like go for the three crown on one side right away and like completely see we're having fun there with the emotes. I use those way too much, guys, but um yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So th th yeah, this is what I was talking about here. Like I go one side with the balloon, and then I get the executioner, executioner and the uh, and the giant on the other side. Usually is like more or less the plan. Um, he's he's throwing the uh, he's throwing the log dudes down there. So we've got the uh, the spark man to to counter that. And since they don't attack anything, like there's there's a lot of stuff that that easily counters it because it doesn't do any damage to them, right? Like it just tries to run by. And the, and when it's not in charge mode, mode, it actually moves really slowly. So it seems really easy to stop um i don't see a use for it honestly um i wish they did this for the um executioner and for the electro whiz this type of challenge because it seems really easy to get you only need five wins and you actually get a free i didn't spend any diamonds to do this either um this is the, the 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 first time you do it it's a free entry so that's really awesome um but yeah, I think my next goal is just going to be get up to 2,900 cups if possible and, and get the Executioner. I'm, I'm sure a nerf is coming. Like, there there has to be. It'll probably be right around the time I get it to because that seems how it uh, <clears throat> how it usually goes for the chicken uh, most of the time. So you see there, if I was actually able to get the Battle Ram there in time, I would have been able to take that tower. But uh, the Elites were just too much for the, um, for the Battle Ram. They got a couple shots in and then it was basically game over. So... <clears throat> So I got the balloon up here. I think I get a late rage on it, and that basically clutches up uh, the game for us here. I'm not sure if I get uh, his right tower as well, maybe. Um, well, I, I, we must. We must at some point. Um, so you see right there, I guess there is like some kind of uses that it does work. Um, because nothing stops it, right? Like You have to kill it to stop it. I think that's the whole reason why it has such a, a low amount of hit points. Uh, so you see right there, ex Executioner... Uh, rage the executive the executor whatever you want to call him guys he's just insane um so yeah all we have to do now is defend so i'm, I'm throwing down the spark guy on the uh, on the barbarians there i thought he did splash damage on the skeletons but i guess he doesn't so so that was my deck guys that's all i really wanted to show you um if i'm able to get it with that deck you guys should like be be well uh well better off uh i i, I felt like it was worth showing because um, maybe it can help some people uh, before they end up spending gems on it or whatever. So, so yeah, let me know what you think of uh, the Chicken's Battle Ram deck, guys. Let me know what you think of the Battle Ram and the Executioner and all the new stuff uh, that's been added recently down below in the comments. That's going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like, fan, interesting, entertaining, or informative, and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Chicken out. <laughs>